this if i keep it here tell me what will happen to this particular capillary tube what will happen to water i i am going to bring like this here T tell me anything will happen to the water if i bring it here water will it rise Because it's a glass capillary, no. This end is closed. Now, what will happen to water? Water will wet the capillary. Water will wet the glass. So, what will be the shape of the liquid here? Will be the liquid will happen. The meniscus will take shape like this. Then again, if you draw an horizontal line, if you draw an horizontal line. If you draw an horizontal line, means here pressure at this point and this point. So where pressure will be more here P naught, here less than P naught. So therefore, what happens? The pressure, what happens? The liquid will rush like this. No, I'll 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 really show all the diagrams. Please, all of you, make observation. This is one, two, three. One once again, I I am trying to put the concept. Just take meniscus. Huh? We need. once again i'm bringing that idea sir why liquid will rise this is the dotted line okay now now you have very Uh, we, we are very sure. No, what is the pressure at three? So let's say P naught. So what is the pressure at two? Less than P naught. Pressure at one must be P naught. I'm using uh, all these conditions. Pressure at one. Pressure at one. Three equal to P naught. Then pressure at two less than P naught. So therefore P one greater than P two. So what should happen to the water? Water. What happens? Should rush. This is the initial. Huh? Water will rush. Means the water will flow from higher pressure to lower pressure. Go back to fluid mechanics. The water, what happens, will move from higher pressure to lower pressure. Pressure here will be more. Here will be less. That's why the water will rush. It will rush and it will rise to a certain height. Getting the idea? So now, what is the next part of the problem? I'll. I have to show that water will rise to certain height. Getting the condition now. See, like a why water will rise. I think the student has to really put effort. Huh? Otherwise, okay, uh, capital uh, water will rise. That that doesn't work out. Why it will rise? What is the reason? Yeah, one has to think here. So here now the water will rise to an height, say h. density of water be rho now what is the the air which is there no p not so what will happen to air now will it be at pressure that much of pressure no the pressure will be different here so as usual one there is a point 2 there is a point 4 there is a point 5 now what should happen pressure at one must be equal to pressure at two this is for this diagram only no no for 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 this situation what you can write pressure at one agree this okay let's come for this one let r be the radius angle of contact let's assume zero to make things little bit easier the theta actually will come here now what do you expect pressure at phi anybody wants to answer will be p not Less than P naught or more than P naught. What happened? The air which was there in the column 
the air which was present in this column of length L, it got compressed, no, and it will undergo isothermal process. Air undergoes. Really, we have to fight with the ideas here. So, if the air undergoes isothermal process, so what shall we write it? P naught into L pi r square initially. Final pressure P phi. What is the length of that? Let it be x. We'll take it. X into pi r square. Pi r square get eliminated. So therefore, uh, P phi. Or, or we'll write one equation p naught into l equal to p phi into x. This is the equation one. Okay, the pressure at phi should be equal to p4 plus 2st by r. r is the radius of capillary tube that already I mentioned it. Next, again, after this p phi, p phi value, we know it. Okay, now p4 plus rho gh minus p2 equal to zero. What is the pressure rate 2? Pressure rate 2 should be P0, no? Why? Because there's a free surface. See, earlier pressure rate 2 less than <coughs> P0. Now, once the liquid rises to certain height, pressure rate 2 will become equal to P0. Because if you draw an horizontal line, pressure must be seen. And what is the pressure at this point? Should be equal to P0. If you want, you write it here, 6. So what is the condition here now? P2 plus P6 should be equal to P0. Okay, let's write equation. P4 plus rho GH minus P0 equal 0. P4 equal to how much? P0 minus rho GH. Let me substitute all these things. Now, what is X? X we can write L minus H. In the end, I'll bring it. So one by one, let me write here. So P5, we can write it as P0 L. The equation two put one and two in three. Let's write P phi is equal to P naught L by X is equal to P four equal to P naught minus rho G H two S T by R it is asking expression for H no. So therefore rho G H should be equal to P naught plus two S T by R. Now, what is x? x you can write it as L minus h. So, h into, I think, okay, I have to solve for h, no? Yeah, let me bring it. Rho g h. So this will be rho g l h minus rho g h square. Uh, this will be very lengthy. Huh? Expression for H is needed. Uh, any, any, anybody, any mathematics can we use so that it will be. X is there in the denominator, no? X is equal to L minus H. It will be not very smaller, so we can't do any binomial expansion. Uh, okay, let me write. Anyway, I have come to you now. We have to solve for H again. It will be quadratic equation. The same earlier what we had. So rho GH rho g l h rho g h square p naught l so 
Okay, no. So we have to simplify really for H here. Quadratic equation will come. Let me write one more step. So this will be rho G L H minus rho G H square P naught L P naught plus two S T by R into L minus P naught plus two S T by R into H. So this will be rho G L P naught will get cancelled, so there's everything I'll call alpha h minus beta h square minus gamma equals zero. So alpha h will get the required answer. I'll, I'll show the complete description. So now, now uh, slowly, let him go. Now what is the what is the next condition I put it? Uh, instead of open, if, if both the ends open, one of the end I'll close it. Are, are you looking at this one? There's a closed end. I'll close it. Then I'll, I'll immerse it. Why the water will rush? I think everyone knows. Okay, after water rises to height h, what it rises to height h? How to calculate that h is what? Okay, see so much of calculations again. So slightly here, the isothermal process, this is very important. So usually students, what happen? Uh, so how do I'll come to know? Uh, you, in all our surface tension, <coughs> the air which will be there now will undergo isothermal process. Fine. So rest all everything, I can uh, rest all equations we know how to write. Because here we have a meniscus, so there's a concave side, convex side. So P5 equal to P4 plus 2 F2. Angle of contact, we assumed it to be zero. Then again, writing manometric equations is P4 plus rho GH minus P2 equal to zero. P2 equal to P0, then solving. So able to manage here. So if this end is open, if this end is open, <coughs> we know directly formula. 2 ST by rho GR, am I right? If this end is closed, if, if we do like this, no, the, the problem will change like this here. Getting the method? Uh, 